Hello everyone. In this video, I'll explain a very exciting feature of Azure AI Foundry, which is image scanning using the document intelligence. Have you tried extracting the text from the image receipts without much efforts? So in this video, we'll create a small project where we'll first scan the image and get the text out of it using the prompt flow. But we'll deploy this as an endpoint so that we can use it or consume it in any of our application. But in this case, I'll use the Python application, which will trigger the prompt flow endpoint and provide the text out of the image, which we'll provide to scan. So let's check all this in detail in the lab. I'm logged into Azure portal now, and let's go to Azure AI Studio and create a new hub. Let's create a resource group for this RG hub. And I'll choose the Australia East region. Let's name it as shell in the hub 01. And it will connect to the Azure AI service. If you want more details about the Azure AI studio, I have already created a video for this. You can check the link of that video in the description of this video or click on the top right of your screen to go to that video first. Next storage, it will create a storage account and then save the credentials in the key vault. Networking, I'll leave it as public. Review and create and create. The deployment has started now and I'll pause the video and we'll be back once the deployment is created. Hub is deployed now. Let's go to the resource. We are in Azure AI Hub. However, let's go to the resource group first and there should be four services deployed. One is the storage account which is connected to the Azure AI Hub and its credentials are saved in Key Vault and Azure AI Services, which is connected to the Azure AI Hub. Let's click on AI Hub and launch AI Studio, which is now Azure AI Foundry. As you can see on your screen, Azure AI Foundry it is. Let me increase the font. So let's create a project. Shell in the project 01, create project. Project is created now and I'm in the project now, as you can see, shell in the project 01. If you'll go on the left side, Azure AI services, you can see there is an option of vision and document. So in this video, we'll be focusing on the vision capability where we'll scan the image and get the text out of it. And it's a part of the Azure AI service but we don't need to deploy a document intelligence service in the Azure. We can use the Azure AI Foundry and deploy the whole prompt flow here. So if I go to the chat playground, try the chat playground. We don't have any deployments for now. Let's create a deployment. But for the deployment, we need to choose the model. Now for document scanning, we need the model which supports vision. Let's open Google and search for Azure. Open AI model regions. And the first link Azure Open AI service models, click on here and look for vision. So it's saying GPT 4 supports vision. Let's go down. Let's check the region because region is important. It's not available in all the regions. So now if you'll see, if you're using the global standard, there is no vision available. However, if you'll go to the standard, there is a GPT-4 vision which is available in Australia East, Japan East, but it's not available in all the regions. So we have to choose the GPT-4 model with the standard option. So let's go to chat playground. For the deployment option, I want the serverless API so that I don't have to manage the backend compute. Serverless API. Now I want GPT-4. The reason is because I want GPT-4 Turbo with Vision. Now let's click on Confirm and Customize. Now if we'll drop down to the model version, it's not available. The Vision is not available here. And the reason is because the deployment type is global standard. What you have to choose is standard and then look for Vision Preview. Let's click here and deploy. So the deployment is created. Let's try the chat playground again and perfect. This time we have vision preview version. 
Now what I want to do is upload a receipt and extract the text out of it. So this is the Udemy receipt. Let me show you the receipt first. So this is the receipt for my Udemy subscription. So I'll just close it. I'll upload this and extract the text out of it. So let's select Udemy and I'll provide some input. Extract the information out of this receipt. And let's wait for it to provide the information. So it has extracted the invoice number, invoice date, place, the merchant name, the name, it's on my name and all the details, total AUD and everything. And this is how GPT-4 Turbo with Vision can extract the text out of the receipt. Now we don't want all this information. So what we are going to do is we'll create a prompt flow where we'll specify our LLM, which is GPT-4 that so we require only certain information from the image. And if a wrong image is uploaded, we should be notified that this is not what we want. Upload the correct receipt only because the prompt flow can be used through Azure AI Foundry only. So we'll deploy it as an endpoint and then use it in our Python application. So let's start. Go to the prompt flow. Create a standard flow first. Standard flow. And let's name it as shell in the flow 01. Create. Standard flow is created now. Now by default it's providing one LLM, which is joke. Let's remove this. And a Python step, let's remove this too. Now I want to add the vision from the more tools, but you need to start the compute session first. So let's start the compute session. It takes around three to five minutes for me. So I'll just pause the video and we'll be back once it's done. Compute session is started now. If I'll click here, there is a VM E4S V3 is deployed. And now, as you can see, if we'll go to the more tools, now I have an option of GPT-4 Turbo with vision. So let's select this vision 01 and add. And if I'll click on connections, there is a connection available. Let's check for the deployment. It should be GPT-4. And it's providing default text where as an AI assistant, your task involves interpreting images and responding to questions about the image. Remember to provide accurate answer based on the information present in the image. Then can you tell me what the image depicts? But instead of that, I want to provide my own system message. So there is a slight change which I have done. Provide the accurate answer based on the information present in the image. Scan the image and provide output only if you see the merchant or the vendor name as Udemy. So what we want is if the receipt is from Udemy, it should provide us the output. Otherwise, it should just say that this is not the correct receipt. Only Udemy receipts are accepted. And in the user, I'm providing the image and telling my LLM that provide me the below values from the image. I don't want all the information extracted. I just want the name, vendor name, which is merchant name, total amount and the date. These four information I want. Now let's click on val validate and pass input. And we need the input from the inputs topic. So let's change from topic to image and string to image here. So let's save it first. Inputs.image. Now this information should come as an output. So let's go to the output. Output. And it should be the vision output. So as you can see the graph, first we are providing the input, it's going to the GPT and then it's providing the output. Let's save this, upload the image. Let's provide the same Udemy image. And this time we don't need to provide the text because we have already provided the system message. So our GPT will have a limited scope to work on. So let's run this. 
the flow is running as you can see variant zero running and soon it should provide the result perfect it's successful now and let's click on the output and here you go the name is shalendra choudhury vendor name is udemy total amount 29.99 and the date perfect this is what we were looking for now let's upload a different image which is not an udemy receipt so let's go here and i have a different receipt let's open it i've downloaded it from google it's a free sample which is available so it's a receipt but it should not be scanned because it's not a udemy receipt so let's select this and run it again and perfect it's successful let's click on the output and this is not the correct receipt only udemy receipts are accepted which we have provided as the system message and this is the correct and desired output what we want now instead of just using the prompt flow let's deploy it into the virtual machine so that we can use it as an endpoint and can consume it in the different applications like python application chatbots or even we can add another step where we'll provide the output to upload it somewhere else in the document using the apis or the different endpoints so there is an option of deploy click here create a new one endpoint name a virtual machine d2as v4 two cores and 8 gb ram i think it's sufficient and one instance count should be enough next key based authentication it's fine system assigned managed identity if i want to provide any deployment tags i don't want that and it's providing the connection which is for azure open ai connection which we have already deployed so let's review and create and create soon you will see the notification here that the deployment has started and once the deployment will be created we'll go to the deployment section and you will see the endpoint there as you can see here the deployment has started in the notification it's showing and endpoint is getting created so i'll pause the video and we'll be back once it's done the deployment is successful now as you can see it has completed let's close this and on the left side go to the models and endpoints here you can see the deployment we have gpt4 model deployed and an endpoint i will click on it you can see it succeeded and there is an option of consume where you provide the rest endpoint the primary key and the secondary key and you can use the javascript python c sharp so we'll use python for this now one more thing before we open the visual studio code let's go to the test and here what it's looking for is images but we can't upload the image here we can just provide the text and for this we need a storage account where the file is uploaded and then we'll paste the url here so let's go to the azure and look for the storage account because we have already deployed the storage account while creating the hub so there is a storage account already there for the hub we can either use this or if you want to create a separate one then you need to provide a system assigned managed identity to that storage account so let's go to this storage account click here go to storage browser and let's go to container add a new container let's name this as images and create now images container is created let's upload the blob which is our image upload browse from the files and it's in document let's upload it here upload so now if you click on this image this image is private and not anonymous so let's see if our endpoint has access to this storage account or not let's copy this instead of providing it here let's go to json editor and provide it here i think it will be images let's quickly check the prompt flow
and it should be image because this is the part of the input. So let's change topic to image. And this is the image URL which we are providing. So let's test it. And as you can see, public access is not permitted. Now we can assign the R back using the system assigned managed identity. Or what we can do is easy way. Let's go back to storage account. And in the storage account, let's go to settings and configuration. And allow anonymous access. And let's save it. Let's go back to blob storage browser, blob container, images and change access level. So now from private to blob anonymous read. Okay. And let's try this again. If we'll test it. It should provide the output now. And perfect. It providing the name vendor name, total amount and the date. And this is what we were looking for. Now, instead of just testing it here, let's test this endpoint in our Python application. And Microsoft already provides how to consume this. So if we'll go here, click on Python, just copy this code. And I have opened a folder, which is an empty folder in Visual Studio code. But in the case of the Python, we should always activate the virtual environment. So let's go to the terminal, new terminal and Python hyphen M virtual environment. So this will create the virtual environment first. As you can see, there is a folder created with the name virtual environment. And once this is done, we'll activate the virtual environment. Folder is created. Let's activate it. VENV scripts activate, click here and it's activated. The reason for creating the virtual environment is Python is so that you can run multiple projects and in that specific virtual environment, all the dependencies of a specific version can be taken care of so that there is no clash between the different projects. So now let's create one file. I don't want to create it here. Let's click on image and create it here. Yep. Yeah app.py and let's copy the text here. So there are certain information which we have to provide. First is data and data should be in the form of JSON. So let's get it from here. Let's go back to what we tried in the test. So let's copy this. So instead of topic, it will be image and let's provide the URL. Go back to Udemy. Let's copy it from here. And Visual Studio Code and provide the URL here. We have enabled the anonymous access, so it should be all good. Now this is the URL for the endpoint and we need to provide the API key. Let's go back to the endpoint and click on consume, copy the primary key and don't worry about the key because I'm pasting here. I'll just delete everything before uploading this video. And I believe that's all which is required to run this. Let's save this and Python app.py. Let's run this and hopefully it should provide us the desired output. Perfect. It's providing us the name, vendor name, total amount and date. Now we don't want this output. So let's change it a bit. We just want the text here. I made a basic change where I'm just loading the result and getting the text out of it, where I'm just printing the text, which is for the output. So let's run this again now. Python app.py and perfect. Now you can see it's providing us the information which we require. 
And now there are infinite options you can use this. I've just used in the basic Python application, but you can create a Python endpoint which will upload this data somewhere. Or you can connect it with the Power Automate or some spreadsheet which is present online where you can update the spreadsheet with the data which is available. Now let's try to upload another image and see whether it's working as desired or not. Go to the storage account, upload another file which is not a Udemy receipt. Let's upload this and get the URL out of it. Go back to Visual Studio Code and paste the URL of the image here. Save it, run it again. And perfect, this is not the correct receipt, only Udemy receipts are accepted. So now to summarize this video, we have deployed an endpoint which does the image scanning using the document intelligence in Azure AI Studio. And we can use this endpoint to extract the text out of our images. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.